Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, today uh, I am going to uh, talk about uh, the two Mikey watches uh, that I bought uh, a while ago uh, and then uh, our kid has been uh, using it uh, for, uh, for a while now and I would like to talk about it uh, actually uh, our experience with it and then if it's actually worth it to buy. So on the left side here, you can see the Mikey Watch 4 Lite uh, and this one is uh, Mikey uh, Touch. Uh, so this one uh, I bought it uh, a year ago uh, and uh, this one I bought it uh, like three, three weeks ago. So, so what my experience with that is that uh, let's see first of all uh, how uh, what how it looks how it looks like and uh, here you have two screws and then uh, you take this small cover and then there is a, a micro uh, sim card that you can insert and then you will attach it uh, with your phone and um, so so when you attach actually uh, with your phone then you uh, get some um, the mikey watch app which actually uh, if you see here and I write uh, Mikey, there are a few apps popping up. I have seen uh, some using uh, the first one, the blue one, uh, or and some are uh, using this uh, red one here. Actually, if you scan the barcode of the supplier, it jumps to that one, but also it is possible to use also this one, which has much more um, uh, information maybe uh, included uh, in this one so while this is installing uh, so I will uh, show you a little bit around so just to stick with this one as you can see there is a nice uh, big screen and um, then it has this uh, two option uh, to call uh, the kid can call the father and and the mother uh, and then has some kind of book, phone book and uh, music, photos and so on and the steps. It can also count the steps and then this is the uh, QR code where you are uh, pairing uh, the device uh, with your phone. So basically this is it. And then uh, there is a button here. Basically if you uh, push it and uh, um, keep it um, pushed, it will just switch off. So, and then you have to push it uh, and hold it one more time in order to get it uh, back. Uh, and then let's talk about this uh, wristband. So you can see here after using it for a while, it already broke. I have glued it a couple of times. Actually, it broke both sides. I have glued it a couple of times, but uh, there is no way it's holding it. So this part is really weak and then has uh, this one here, which actually was very long uh, for a kit uh, arm. So I had to cut in the middle and uh, make it shorter in order to uh, to fit to, to our kit. And also comes uh, this one. And this is actually also quite uh, long, which actually doesn't hold so nice uh, on the kid's arm. So on the other side, uh, I have this um, Mikey uh, Touch. This is also similar. The screen maybe is uh, smaller, you can see. And then there are saws, uh, the heartbeats and uh, steps, then phone book, messages and, and so on. And then this is the messages that you will, re you will be receiving with the code when you are pairing the device uh, with your phone. And uh, here is a little looks a little different on that one. You can see the the micro SIM card sitting in here. You just have to push it in to get it out. Uh, and then the button here and the charger. So and then this is how this uh, works here uh, for the charger. You can see it's a USB uh, cable with uh, colors here. And on the other side, the Mikey a watch uh, for light has a different way of charging uh, from the back here you can see this can attach like that so the advantages uh, with this watch it uh, just it comes with more flexible uh, wristband uh, that actually very hard to damage but uh, 
I bought it actually two of them, just uh, one extra actually, just in case something happens. But as you can see, uh, three weeks of using it, it already broke the piece here that is holding the watch uh, in here. So our kit is just broke it uh, today after three weeks of using it. And then also it comes with something that you can uh, hang it uh, from your neck, but this is not something that anybody will use it. Now you can see uh, this is the app, the blue one that I have installed, that it looks like uh, this, that you can see where the kit are, uh, your kit is. And then uh, you can go history, which uh, will show little some satellites in the app and things like that, some um, history on that, which you can select the date, then you can see what is happen in that uh, in that date uh, if uh, if it's uh, correct then you can put some kind of safe zones but this function that I never used actually so basically then you can go to the settings and you click to this um, uh, to the uh, the watch that uh, you have uh, paired and then you can set uh, some limits here uh, don't disturb low battery mode then it will notify you when it's that and then has some uh, speed limit, neckness mode that uh, I showed you earlier, that if you have that one on the neck and some kind of alarms, and then you can power it off remotely or reset some settings uh, through, the, through the app. So this is how it looks like. You can always view it like that way and or refresh it. So. What I have been uh, experiencing, especially with this one, uh, most of the time is loose location that is actually hard to find. Uh, last time our kid uh, took uh, to the school uh, this watch and then she, she removed it and then we were going two days around uh, the school to find the watch and the location was not updating. It was showing us five, six kilometers away of the area that it was impossible to find the watch. We were calling it all day long and there was no way to find the watch. And luckily, after three days, one of the kids found it and gave one of the teachers and finally, and then he made a, he pushed a soski to make it. Um, and then we called back the teacher and found this uh, this way. Uh, the other uh, things that, for example, some uh, other smartwatches has a functionality that you can put a school mode. So the kid, while has an, uh, in, is in school, that um, has the possibility through the phone to put it in a school mode where uh, the kid will not be able to call or anybody else can, uh, will be able to call uh, the kid. But this function um, in this um, watch is missing. So this is this doesn't uh, have that. Uh, if you like this function, then you should go to look some uh, another type of uh, watches. So overall, uh, the Mikey Watch 4 Lite is not so good on your, the wristband. And then this piece is getting breaks very fast. Uh, however, with this one, we never had a problem with the GPS. It was always catching the right place and then we were always finding it where it is. On the other side, this the GPS uh, signal on that one is very poor. It's like uh, maybe 80% of the time doesn't show exact location. Um, and then as you can see, the, this brand is also bad condition that is already uh, broke here after using it uh, three weeks. The reason uh, I was trying these uh, watches is that uh, they have a SIM card, which I can um, get a subscription uh, from a local uh, supplier uh, for $2 and uh, make it work. However, uh, if you go uh, another type of watch uh, like Garmin watch or some other um, uh, brand, uh, which most of them requires uh, a subscription that you need to subscribe on their website, which will charge you uh, much more uh, in this way. Of course, uh, the functionality maybe is better, uh, but this was the cheapest way uh, to try some uh, watches uh, for your kid.
I will put uh, some links uh, on the description of my video, even though I don't uh, recommend uh, to buy any of these uh, two watches. You can find it a lot of other uh, brands in the market. Maybe you might pay a little more money, but then you have more security in this. So you will never have any issue to find where the watch is or where your kit is. Thank you guys uh, for watching. I hope uh, this uh, video will help you to make the right uh, choice when you are buying a, a watch uh, to your kit. Thank you. Bye for now.